Currently, we have four courses related with R integrated in QGIS. The first course it was about univariate analysis. The second course was about vivariate analysis. These two courses are related with the exploratory data analysis. The third course it was about structural analysis for Kriegen and Co-Kriegen. And now we are working on the fourth geostatistic course that is about Kriegen and Co-Kriegen interpolation and mapping. And in this fourth course, we are going to be focused in different types of Kriegen interpolation. We are going to be focused on ordinary Kriegen, universal Kriegen, regression Kriegen, Kriegen with external drift, and ordinary co-Kriegen. And in this lesson, we are going to work with regression Kriegen. Remember that if you want to have full access to the courses and all the content, you can go to the GeoRGV community website at gscourse.online, get enrolled in the fourth geostatistic course, then start to learn, and here you are going to have all the lessons. At the moment, for the fourth geostatistic course, we have the lesson related with the introduction, we have the first lesson that is about ordinary Kriegen and also the second lesson that is about universal Kriegen. Here at the bottom in the exercise five, you can download all the scripts that we are using in the lesson and also the data set. The next lesson that is going to be loaded at the fourth geostatistic course is going to be the third lesson related with regression Kriegen. Remember that if you don't want to get enrolled at the GeoRGB community website, you can have also access to the lessons at GeoRGB. Here there is all the content, but there are some restrictions. The goal of this third lesson related with regression Kriegen is to work with different models associated with the deterministic part of the regression Kriegen. We are going to see the ordinary less squares. We are going to see the generalized less squares, the generalized additive models, and also the thin plate explain interpolation. Remember that when we want to predict a variable in a specific location at the space, we can assume this model, where we have a deterministic part and also an stochastic part. The stochastic part that is associated with the probability can be solved with ordinary Kriegen. And remember that we saw how to do ordinary Kriegen at the first lesson of the fourth geostatistic course when we was working with the ozone concentration at the state of California and also at the second lesson of the fourth geostatistic course when we was working with groundwater elevation at the states of New Mexico and Texas. Then we already know how to do ordinary Kriegen, right? Uh, it's not going to be a big deal. The most important thing, I believe, in this lesson is just to separate the fitted values and the residual values for each of these models. In that way, we are going to have the fitted values, and with the fitted values, we can create a, a raster file that is going to be the trend surface for each of these models. And also, we are going to have the residuals for the each of these models in order to apply ordinary Kriegen. The most important part for the, this third lesson is how to work with these different models and how we can use uh, all of them, right? Because we have to cover some assumptions. Sometimes the residuals doesn't cover that assumptions. Then we, don't, we cannot use, for example, this model and we have to use this one. And other times we are not covering the assumptions of this model and we have to use a different model. And that's the, the goal of this lesson, right? Uh, how we can use all these uh, models in order to, to get the trend surface. And when we have the trend surface, then we, we can do the raster file. And with this raster file plus the raster file associated with the ordinary Kriegen, we can plus these two uh, models in order to have the final predictions for the variable of interest. 
Then in this lesson, we are going to use R to work with all these models. Then we are going to create the interpolated uh, trend surface associated with these models. And then we are going to export a raster file to QGIS with that trend surface. Also, we can do just one ordinary Kriegin for one of these models, also with R, to see how we can work with uh, ordinary Kriegin to see all the steps, all the, the process in R, because we already did just with QGIS and we are going to do with R. Then also we are going to export the ordinary Kriegin as a raster file to QGIS. Then in QGIS, we are going to plus this model plus this model in order to have the final prediction, but we are not going to work in the addition of the map. Because in fact, for this third lesson, we are going to work with the same data set as we did for the universal Kriegen. And I already show you how you can work on the map edition for the groundwater flow direction. Now we can wonder what is the difference between the regression Kriegen and the universal Kriegen that we was working at the previous lesson, right? Because at the universal Kriegen, we was using the ordinary less squares. And also here for the regression Kriegen, the first option is going to be the ordinary less squares. And maybe some people, they can think that it's going to be something repetitive, okay? And let me tell you that it's going to be a little bit different, right? Because when we was working at the previous lesson, with the universal Kriegen, we didn't have the necessity of separate the deterministic part of the model and the stochastic part of the model. We did all together, like in a package, okay? But for the regression Kriegen, we are going to separate. We are going to work from one side with the deterministic part and from the other side with the stochastic part. And they are going to be totally separated. Also, in this regression Kriegen, for the ordinary less squares, we are going to advance a little bit on the understanding of the ordinary less squares. Because it's a very uh, long topic, and we was talking a little bit about the ordinary less squares in the second geostatistic course, and also at the previous lesson. But now we are going to extend the 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 understanding of the ordinary less squares a little bit more. Because with R, we are more flexible to do more things, right? With QGIS, we have some limitations and it is a little bit slow. It is pretty good because we can do the things just with an interface, you know, just when we did the code, we can use that interface to, to apply that code to different projects. But that is not really flexible, right? But with R, we are going to be more flexible to do more things related with the ordinary less squares. Also, in addition, for the regression Kriegen, we are going to add more models. Well, that's it for today. You can use the comment section below to leave your thoughts, your impressions about this course. If you have any comment, just let me know and see you on the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching the video and bye bye.